Hello, so here's another update on a Bright Line Eating Journey, um, day 36. So today's Monday. Um, it is also my son's birthday, so um, very happy about that. And um, so far, um, this past week has been kind of weird. Um, a week ago, I was down a lot in weight after vacation, and then I don't know, for some reason, like just today, um, my weight went up. So I weigh myself every morning. You don't really have to. In fact, it's probably discouraged more. I don't know. Um, you can weigh yourself once a month or once a week, or you can weigh yourself every day. Now, I chose to weigh myself every day. That's just what I decided to do. But um, for some reason, my weight popped up, and I haven't added any food. Um, I am still eating that chocolate, so maybe I kind of need to um, cut that out or just really have a really small piece of chocolate, if anything. Because um, I would say I probably have like 250, maybe 200 calories worth of um, dark chocolate per day. I mean, maybe it's even... I just looked at the back of the box of uh, dark chocolate that I have. And um, one serving was 310 calories, and some days I will have a full serving, but most days it's like a half serving of that. So anyway, little things add up, and for me that is especially true. Um, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it could just be my monthly cycle too that is um, I'm starting to you know, retain water. So that could be it too. Who knows, I'm not going to freak out about it, but um, I do have some really good, uh, like, my measurements are something that I was also aiming to, I was aiming to lose inches as well as weight, so um, my waist is down um, two and a quarter inches, um, thighs just down half an inch, those are two, those are like the last place for me to lose weight, and hips are down, let's see, Hips are down two and a half inches, so so the waist and the hips, making some progress there. Uh, some of my clothes are a, a little, well, some of them fit again, because <laughs> I don't, didn't really, I don't really have any clothes that are loose, because I didn't when I was getting heavier and stuff, I didn't run out and buy a lot of clothes. I didn't want to, I didn't want to buy bigger sizes. I just wanted to lose the pounds so that I could fit normally back into my clothes that I already had. So um, it's encouraging. There's some shorts and things that from I think three years ago is when I bought them when I was probably at my thinnest um, since I had a child, I mean, um, thinnest since having a baby. Um, and they, I can put those on. They fit. They're a little tight still, so we'll wait to wear those until they look a little more appropriate and not so tight. But that's one thing. I, I, I'm not sure what my goal or my end weight is going to be. It's sort of just still an open, open-ended question. Like uh, my lowest. I mean, I'm 5'11", and my lowest adult weight ever was um, 70 kilos, which is 154 pounds. And I'm pretty muscular and larger person. I'm kind of like an Amazon woman. Um, so that was before having a baby, and since having a baby, I haven't been down to that weight again. So I don't know what my end weight is going to be, but um, I'm not going to any add any maintenance food. I'm going to follow the weight loss uh, food plan, probably here for another five to seven pounds. So I've kind of changed my tune on that because um, I want to keep seeing the scale go down since like I said today it popped up for some reason I don't know and I don't know why I lost so much in the week or when I weighed myself after going on vacation I don't know why that happened except that just I had less stress or I don't know I was I was more active because you know now that I'm back to work I only work part-time but my work is mostly um, sedentary like just walk or just sitting or standing so I mean that cuts back on your active time so anyway um, 
I do want to do a couple more videos. I have a couple ideas. Um, I want to do a video about why I chose to do bright line eating, and then I want to do a video on um, um, what I eat in a day. Like maybe one of those example, uh, like just videotape my meals throughout the day, which would only be three meals. So. <laughs> Um, maybe I could do like two days worth of meals and um, so you could get a little variety but uh, but the truth is my meals are not that beautiful and I really do just compile them from what we have in the fridge like oh Sunday night I might make a few things like cooks a few different types of vegetables or a few different types of meats and then I'll just make my meals up out of the whatever I have so they're not like planned out or pretty meals that have a theme or a that go together even sometimes I mean <laughs> I just eat what what uh, feeds me which is the whole idea so that's good um, something exciting that also happened in the last week is that my mother showed interest and she said that she started I think it was Wednesday or Thursday of last week um, she asked me a bunch of questions I don't know if she's bought the book or the plant one of the plans yet but I told her that that would probably be best if she was going to be serious about it because I told her what the portions are and the meal what the meals are comprised of but there's a lot more to it that you really just need to read the book or get all the literature somehow through um, either buying the boot camp or the 14 day challenge so so like I said I did the 14 day challenge and that was that was a good way to get me started so um, I am excited about it and it's becoming more of a lifestyle thing so um, yeah I made, um, made my son's birthday cake for him <laughs> I made that last night for him and it's true the frosting didn't tempt me the cake didn't tempt me it just doesn't look like food it's so it just smells so sickly sweet anymore that it doesn't even appeal to me really I mean, sure, there are still some temptations floating out around there in the world, but um, I find that the mm, the cheap sugar stuff or the cheap fat and salt stuff, it just, that doesn't appeal to me, <laughs> which has kind of always been my personality anyway. I've always been sort of a foodie and kind of like a food snob, but, um, you know, and sometimes I, I will, like, taste something. If my husband... Like my husband got ice cream when we went on vacation. It's very good ice cream, so I didn't get any, but I had a little taste of his. It was raspberry with chocolate chips. It was very good, but but ice cream never agreed with me before anyway, so I didn't even want ice cream. So anyway, that is today's update. Um, pounds, as of day 36, are about about eight about the same as last week so because I bumped up in weight this morning and I don't know if that was just the timing of when I weighed myself it was before I went to the bathroom <laughs> um, or what but um, I'm gonna keep doing it and I think by maybe by next month or at least I would say in 45 days I think I should have lost all the weight that I want We'll see. I mean, see how I feel and how my body looks. I don't really feel like I look skinny or gaunt or not even really lean yet. I mean, I had quite a bit to lose, so um, so yeah, especially around the middle section and lower, like for me, the thighs and the backside and everything. Um, that could stand to still lose a lot down there so but um, going good and it just rolls along I haven't had a lot of hiccups or problems so um, that's just an update for today and thanks for watching again